Well, thank you so much for your company this morning. The French Way is Lorraine Thompson's story about her 800 kilometre trek of the El Camino from France and over the Pyrenees to Spain to visit the ancient burial place of St James. There has been a huge increase in the number of pilgrims walking the Camino over the last 20 years and Lorraine joins us to tell us all about her experience. Welcome Lorraine, it's lovely to have you here. Bonjour, it's lovely to be here. First up, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a former magazine publisher and editor and you have always had a bit of a love for adventure, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so two of the magazines that I published was Travel Digest and the other one was New Zealand Fitness. So I was essentially combining those two um, areas of my life by walking the Camino. Yeah. Brilliant. OK, well, what probably makes this next question irrelevant, but what drew you to this particular walk? Yes, I'd been inspired by a friend's mother who actually did the walk quite a few years ago and she was in her 80s and I was in awe of her being able to yeah. do that and yeah. she was telling me about it and I thought, oh, how amazing. If you can do it, then I can do it. So it was 40 days that you walked? Yes. 800 kilometres? Yes. Gosh, that's phenomenal for starters. Well done. But your first trip didn't actually start so well. This is You had a second attempt at it, didn't you? Because after months of planning and organising and getting there, things had took a little bit of a hiccup. What happened? Yes, so when I arrived in Paris, the airline, which was Air France, lost my suitcase and so all I had was a handbag and, you know, that suitcase, I'd been spending months packing it with all the careful <laughs> shoes, oh, no. socks, walking poles, yeah. everything. And, yeah, I had to essentially go out and buy all, all of that again. Oh, no. And in Paris, you don't exactly find a Kathmandu type place yeah. to go and get your outdoor <laughs> equipment. Yeah. <laughs> so it was quite a challenge. Um, Wearing brand new shoes and going um, up the Pyrenees and in very hot temperatures and, you know, really long days, eventually my feet were just wrecked and I ended up in hospital. Because yeah. that's the thing, isn't it, with your shoes, you, you've got to wear them in before you do any great walk. So you're in hospital. Yeah. So that was after eight days. I sort of persevered, but then it was getting worse and worse. Um, and I was sort of advised not to carry on, but you know, being determined, I sort of carried on for another two days, and then I, I could literally hardly put one foot in front of the other. And I was told by the hospital that you know I really should go home, and so that was heartbreaking and um, devastating. So I had mm. to come back home after eight days. Yeah. Oh no! But you persevered. Mm. You, you decided to go and do it. Obviously, you really wanted to complete it. Is it because you had started it, or is it because it was just a bucket list thing you wanted to tick off? It was both of those, Mike. Right. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty determined person, and if I set a goal, I pretty much make sure that I get there, and that's just me. And so I went back again last year, and I chose one month later when it wasn't quite as hot. And so that was October, and um, that was just perfect weather conditions. Nice. And my shoes and everything and all my luggage got there and, and I was setting off at a good pace and I was feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's perfect then, so a bit of insider intel mm. after coming back for the second time. So how much walking would you do per day? Yes, it did vary according to where you were staying for the night and the accommodation places weren't equally paced throughout the walk, so the minimum would be 15 and the most would be 31 kilometres. Gosh. Yeah. So most people do this as a solo journey, don't they? Is it to give you thinking time? I mean, what did you learn about yourself while doing this? Yes, it definitely does give you thinking time. Um, you're essentially just putting one foot in front of the other and you've got no cares in the world at all, it feels like. And um, while I was doing that, I was thinking about my life ahead. And I made the decision to study for an MBA, so that was while wow. I was out there on the Camino. Yeah. Do you listen to music or podcasts or anything as you're walking? Or? No, I think that would spoil it. I think you're right, yeah. Because yeah. I, I recently in France, and I was you know, in those areas where part of the track was, I was surprised at the amount of people that do it, and the ages as well. So how fit do you have to be to do it? Yes, I think you do have to be fit. I was... Before going on the trek, I was going to the gym every day, plus playing tennis um, quite often at the end of the day. And in the weekends, I was going for longer walks just to get ready for it. Yeah, you definitely have to be doing that, wouldn't you? And you meet so many people on the way as well. Mm. You meet some interesting characters. Everyone's got a story to tell. Oh, definitely. Um, everyone doing the walk that I came across had a reason for doing it. And often it would be a personal reason or something devastating that happened in their life. And they were just wanting to take time out. I often call it um, people that were work, working in the fast lane, taking time out to walk in the slow lane. There's so many layers, I guess, that are covered in your book. We don't have time to cover them all. But finally, what would be your tips if somebody wants to do this trip? Apart from buying your book and having a read, but what's, what's a good tip to give people? 
definitely take your comfortable shoes with you on the aeroplane so as if they get lost. Um, I chose Skechers um, shoes because they were really soft um, and comfortable and I definitely wouldn't recommend boots. The other thing is I booked my travel through a company that specialises in the Camino. It was called Ah Walker's World and Jill Grant runs this company and she made the whole trip seamless and um, just really easy. Awesome. Mm. Hey, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Mm. Lorraine's book, The French Way, is available right now.